think it's 35 states attach teacher performance to student performance, so teacher data to student data. And what they're finding is that there's a pretty strong evidence that uh, kids improve when they have a teacher who's immersed in their content, knows their content very well, and has strong pedagogical skills. And that it's not one or the other the way some people are, oh, you need the pedagogy, you need to learn how to teach, or you need the content. It's really the combination of the two that makes a teacher quality that has systematic positive impacts on a child's life. And charter schools have nothing to do with that. Right? That's, not, that's just a way of getting highly motivated teachers with kids who are highly motivated, control for kids who are highly motivated, and you have great effects. But the, and everyone's pointing to the Boston, the Harvard, recent Harvard study that so, shows in Boston area that kids who apply to charter schools and don't get in and are going to the regular public schools don't do as well as their peers who get into charter schools. So that's an argument in favor of. But with the national data, actually Stanford did a study that shows that I think, I don't have the numbers perfectly, but something like 17% of charter schools outperform uh, public schools, the, your, your common public school. I think it's something like 35% underperform the public schools, and the rest are equal. So the national data looking at charter schools suggests that you're more than likely have kids underperform relative to the public schools than overperform. So it really is something else going on, and I argue it's teacher quality.